Hey folks, Blackcross here, and welcome back to Tales of Basiria. So, in the last video, we finally uncovered the Headless Knight, and we found out that our friend's, uh, uh, Hawk friend was one of the Therians that we were after. So, our main, uh, priority is to find the other three Therians. There is an issue, on the other hand. We don't know where they're at, but Lafisa has a plan. So, let's see the dialogue. I know this smell. Yeah, it's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. It's made from Fandaria trees, conifers that grow in a snowy land. I've noticed that you and Velvet and Mogilu smell nice too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh, can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria scented ones, only the royal family can use. But most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? You know, I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's a bit complicated. To explain it right, I'd have to start with the history of bathing in Midgand. A few hundred years ago, people believed they would die if they took a bath. They were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even go near one. I can't believe people would be scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? Well, at the time, a deadly plague was running rampant, and people thought that it could be transmitted through bath water. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep. As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. With fragrant woods now harder to come by, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. So, what do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Huh? <laughs> okay, how much more dialogue is there? I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before. Don't be such a drag, Luffy said. It's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those Maron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of Secret Fort are you not getting? Yeah. But it can't all be just for fun and games here either. In order to maximize the success of our future battles, we need to maintain and improve this base going forward. This place seems sturdy as it is. Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing, exactly? 
Well, I think we need to start with smoke screen generators. They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout here. Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Helavis was really scary. We have Molochim like you who could use water arts, though. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. What we really need are some secret underground tunnels. If things get too hairy here, we'll need an underground escape route. We can put in hidden doors, and even some fake ones to trick the enemy, too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground tunnels before anything else. But we're on an island. You know, surrounded by water. Where would these tunnels even lead to? Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the sea to another uninhabited island nearby. But there are no other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. <laughs> are you listening to what you're saying? It sounds like he's daydreaming to me. And what's wrong with having some dreams? This is a great opportunity we have here. You guys just don't get it. It's okay. I get where you're coming from. But they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. Even I was like, Eisen, are you even thinking with your head right now? Or are you just really, really wanting that underground base you've wanted so badly? And the answer is, he just wants it that badly. Like, really badly. Like, to a point of desperate bad. <laughs> uh, at any rate, though, I do need to kind of figure out where I'm going. Because I'm kind of getting lost already. We're supposed to go into the underground prison. So, in other words, Luffy says got an idea, and I think he's going to try to use that underground base to locate the other points. I mean, it would make sense. But to do that, I don't know. Depends on how far they are, too. Also, there's something else that I'm thinking, too. Why aren't the pirates, uh, affected by this? That's my concern. Or are they just a different type of pirates that aren't affected by sins? In which case, I'm very confused. We're here. What now? Well, so I've been thinking about Earth Pulse points. They're where the flow of the Earth Pulse, the Earth's natural forces, are concentrated. Right. And Inominat is using those points to acquire malevolence and reawaken himself. You seem to have a knack for sensing them out. Once you're close enough, you can even pinpoint their location. Except, I don't have to be close at all. When we came here yesterday, I felt another place. A place just like this. Are you saying you can use this Earth Pulse Point as a conduit to find the others? I think so. I don't know how far it works, and I can't say if Ethereum will be on the other end. Still, it'll give us something real to go on. Please, give it a try. Okay. Anything? Yes, I felt it. There are dozens of Earth Pulse points scattered around, but I sensed a few big ones that stood out. So you can even detect their size? Yeah, wow. at least I think I can. 
This island is one of the big ones. There are two more like it, somewhere to the east and the southeast. But I think those are the Warg Forest and the Temple of Palamedes. Still, that suggests we're more likely to find Therians at the larger Earth Pulse points. We've got three Therians to go. Anything that helps us narrow down our choices is a boon. Yeah, you've done great work today, Lafayette. That's for sure. Thank goodness you're here. You're a marvel. One of the wonders of the world, kiddo. It's not that big of a deal, really. Hmm. Then let's go Therian hunting. We have an honest to goodness lead, or dishonest to badness in our case. <laughs> What's up? Again. Still not good enough. You think it's your swords that are weak? You don't think maybe your body's just stupid tough? No. If it can't cut me, it's just not good enough. I need stronger materials to make a better sword. I'd love to try Oracalcum, but getting that stuff is next to impossible. Oracalcum. That's the strongest metal in the world, right? A rare metal that's only been found in ancient ruins, and seldom at that. I've seen fragments of the metal myself, but I've never even heard of a piece large enough to forge into a weapon. I have. I heard a rumor that a block of Oracalcum was discovered in an ancient ruin some 200 years ago. Unfortunately, the boat carrying it sank in a storm. From the depths of the earth to the depths of the sea. A sunken ship. Treasure at the bottom of the sea. <sighs> that would stir any sailor's heart. If we knew where to find it, could it be salvaged? The ship's crew drowned, so nobody knows where she sank. Besides, it's a centuries-old rumor. Who's to say it's even true? Right. <laughs> no sense in wishing for what can't be gotten. I'm sure there's other material you can use. <laughs> even Dial makes a good point sometimes. Hey, what do you mean, even Dial? Even Dial's getting angry! Saying it like that's just weird, Kamoana. Even Kamoana's getting weird! <laughs> Alright, so our target is an Earth Pulse point about as big as the one here. Let's start with the closest one and go from there. Which way is it? The closest one... is to the west. Got it. Lead the way, Lafayette. My pleasure. So we're going west. How far west in the map? Can I ask that question? I'm very curious. The first mate told me we're going to be looking for an Earth Pulse thingy, right? The ship's ready to leave whenever. Do you want to depart now? Yep. We're ready. It's here! This is the Earth Pulse point! Nothing but open water as far as the eye can see. Is your Earth Pulse point down below? Most of this world is covered by ocean, so of course there'd be a lot of Earth Pulse points in the deep sea. But surely even the Abbey would have a hard time containing a Therian underwater, right? Looks like this one's a bust then. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. We've seen a bug Therian. I don't think there could be fish as well. You may have a point. I think I have just a solution for this. Do you? you do? This. What? what? Don't give me that look. I'll have you know this is Fujibayashi's rod. This baby's nine feet long, made from a single piece of the finest bamboo aged five years, with a slow 60-40 action that almost feels alive when it bends. Its exquisitely wrapped handle feels like an extension of your own arm. And just look at that elegant black lacquer finish. It's as perfect a fishing rod as there can be. I'm... I'm sure it's a lovely fishing pole, but... Fishing? Are you sure? This is a Therian we're talking about. All the more reason. 
Remember who you travel with. Uh, okay? All right, if no one else will. I'm going to veto this fishing idea. Aw, oh, come on, let's give it a shot. Besides, I'm hungry. Even if all we catch is fish, at least we'll have dinner. Mm, I'd love to have me some koi or sockeye salmon. Don't encourage them. How do you attach the hook to the line? Like... this? <laughs> you don't go fishing much, do you? It's just been a while. I used to go fishing with my brother sometimes. This is my first time. Then we can try it together. I'll teach you how it's done. I taught you to fish, Eleanor. Yeah, when I was little, old man Tenny taught me. He was from my village. I've caught at least a hundred tree at loaches over the years. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Those two really get along. If I didn't know better, I think she's his sister, not his vessel. Eleanor certainly got Lafayette's number. Better watch out, Velvet, or she'll steal him away. Luffy said. Let's get the line set up properly. First, you take it and thread it through the hook, like so. That looks hard. Uh, hey. Once you get the hang of it, you can be able to do it with your eyes shut. <laughs> this went from a stupid okay. ideal of fishing for Therian to all of a sudden a field trip. Luffy! Huh? You mean me? Oh, um, I was just... Be careful there. Wouldn't want you falling into the water or anything. I'm not a little kid, you know. It's just that Luffy fell in once. A long time ago. Luffy? You mean your younger brother? That's right. You reminded me of him is all. If you say so. Is that all you wanted to say to me? Yeah, that's it. Okay then. I'm going back to fishing with Eleanor. Mm-mm. People aren't as easily swapped in and out as fish hooks, are they? Is that supposed to mean something? Oh, Velvet, uh, you gotta get it a lot tighter than that. Here, let me take a look at it. Huh? Oh, uh, all right. <sighs> are they really gonna try? They're, they're actually fishing. We're fishing out in the middle of the sea, trying to find a Therian. Keep in mind! Just because the Therian can transform into something small, that means that they can also transform into something gigantic! Are they not thinking? <laughs> Plus the fact that it's a barrier. Hey, Eisen, how about a competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. Don't be ridiculous. Fishing is a solitary battle. It's about meditation and self-control. Ooh, aren't you the philosophical one all of a sudden? <sighs> but I suppose. I can't deny I really want to put this rod to the test. Yeah, I know that feeling. Whenever I find a good sword, there's nothing I want to do more than to swing it. Sure enough. There's just something about good equipment that gets the blood pumping. Yeah. Although in my case, it's usually more like blood spurting. A bit too much blood either way, if you ask me. Listen, we're fishing no matter what. Wouldn't the competition be better for getting that blood of yours pumping? Fine. You're on. But we both know already how this is gonna end. <laughs> you can plan all the victory speeches you like, but fishing is like life. Doesn't always go the way you think it will. You ready? Let's do this. At what point did the Therian hunt turn into a contest? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Old man Tenny sounds like he was a real goofball. Definitely. He used to say the weirdest things while we'd be fishing just to make me laugh. Like what? Oh, it was all nonsense, but it was funny to me. The silly stuff like Papero Popero Pippity Poppity Poo. <laughs> yeah, that's silly, all right. Those two look like they're having fun. If you truly admired the fishies, you'd never dream of doing this to them. No matter how tasty the bait, it's a poor trade for a barbed hook in the lip and a cruel death in the unforgiving air. I don't admire fish. Fish exist to be caught and eaten, as far as I'm concerned. Can't argue there. Raw, boiled, or grilled with a little salt. You can't go wrong. Oh, 
And if they're nothing but food to you, even their wretched squirms of agony can hold a kind of beauty. <laughs> hey, Velvet, I've got your rod all set up for you. This thing can even catch a whale if you wanted to. The rest is up to you. Now get out there and fish up a big one. A Therian, you mean. <sighs> Might as well give it a shot. It's not like anyone else remembers what we're here for. <gasps> Something's pulling the line! Stay calm. Fishing isn't about strength, it's about timing. Oh, okay, got it. Here it comes. You ready? <laughs> Damn right I am. I'll fillet it before it can even land. If it's a Therian, don't you dare kill it. Now! Heave! What the hell? Well, what do you know? Neither a fish nor a Therian. Well, shoot. Can't eat that. Oh. It looks like it fit you, though, Laffy said. Why don't you try it on? I concur. Maybe it'll bring out his unique personality. My unique personality, huh? See? What did I tell you? It looks great on you, Laffy said. <laughs> you really think so? Yeah. Bring your special charm, kiddo. That's funny. Come on. Back to Therian fishing. Oh. Hey, you don't need to take it so seriously. I have to catch the Therian. Maybe then Velvet will see me for who I am. Oh boy. Uh, not a bite. Oh, quit your grumbling. Who was it who said fishing doesn't always go how you think it will? <laughs> Spoken like a true heartless pirate. Oh, hey, I've got something. Did you catch a fish? <sighs> nope, another treasure box. <laughs> I feel like... Looks like I'm next. <laughs> okay, are we finding it just freaking. Costume props. A single decent catch. I think it's decent. Huh? <laughs> you don't take half measures, do you, kid? Hmm? What's wrong, Luffy said? You look ridiculous. Take that off. Stop it! What do you know about me anyway? I... I know that looks silly on you. All you know is your Laffy. <laughs> hey, Velvet, something's pulling on your rod. Huh? Oh. It's a big one. Give it Better be a you. fish. I know what I'm doing. Well, there's no it's, fish. It's a big one, all right, but... A pot. Yay. Still gathering What's junk. What's pot doing out here? There's something inside it. <laughs> Whoa! That much was in there? An how the hell can that many frickin' creatures could be inside that one pot? Did I get I did good, didn't I? Phew. That was scary. Be more careful before you approach a suspicious object. 
You think Luffy would have stayed back? That has nothing to do with this. Uh, there's something else in there. Hold on. There's something else inside. What the hell? Rising Falcon! Now we gotta fight the shambling dead? A zombo pot! For a bunch of dead guys, they're awfully Rising uh fleshy. Further support for the healthy octopus diet. Rising Falcon! Hey, is everyone an octopus army? A horde of undead? The hell is this pot? Magnificent. To think I'd get to see one with my own eyes. Is there something special about this creepy old pot? <laughs> creepy, you say? That's why these things need to be left to the professionals. Listen and behold, this is none other than a water jug made by the potter Groon during King Claude's reign. It was a legendary once in a millennium masterpiece. Warring states period 200 years ago. Assertive yet not ostentatious. With its state and the subtle shimmer of its color. Ho oh, ho, and start moving it did. Whatever you guys do, make sure you don't smash it! So, can I slash it? Killing Flash! But I'm this close, I will miss! Storm Zero! Thunder! Back down! Jade Wing! Push it! Boys! 
some of It was a close one, but I am the victor. It's finally decided to behave itself. Wait, Velvet! Don't eat it! It's a pot. I'm not gonna eat it. <sighs> I guess there weren't any Therians to be found here after all. Yeah, if there'd have been any, you'd think Ol' Eisen's Reaper curse would have drawn him out. You sure the pot so isn't a Therian, though? We caught today were weird, useless things. Right. I forgot about the curse. So all this was Eisen's fault, huh? Funny how quickly you get used to it. Oh, my power didn't end up helping us out at all. Nope. Oh. But I know you're not the type to give up after a little setback. Isn't that right, Fee? Huh? Fee? It's your nickname. Not a whole lot of thought put into it, but... You're you. You're Fee. Velvet. There we go. I like it. It has personality. Thanks. Of course, if you still feel like giving up. No, I'm gonna find us the next Earth Pulse point. Oh, hey. There's something else inside the pot. This golden luster, it's... It's Oracalcum! I get it now. This must be where that ship sank all those years ago. The one Kurogane told us about. Hell that explains yeah. all the junk we found. Kurogane might actually be able to make me an Oracalcum sword. Nice find, Aizen. You too, Lafayette. It wasn't easy, but we didn't come away empty-handed. And just getting a chance to fish again was lots of fun. Yeah, I had a really good time too. Even I was entertained, especially your little costume show, kiddo. The sun's going down soon. Let's head back to Titania. Never thought we would be saying that. Oh wait. We can where are the four <laughs> Oh gosh. That's wonderful. Uh at any rate though, I'm gonna have to end the video here as much as I don't want to, but at least we're making some form of uh decency. If we could figure out where we can get to the next uh Therian, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But at any rate, though, I'll see you in the next video. This is Blackcross signing off. Take care, guys.